I'm and I'm back with another Front Row Talk podcast, the podcast with expensive opinions. This is episode 122. We are 122 episodes in. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share this video. Um, make sure you check the description down below where I have a link for my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Um, before I get started, make sure you tune into last episode, episode 121, the episode before that. Um, and yeah, let's get started with this episode. Before I get started though, um, this doesn't have to do nothing with the podcast episode. I mean, by the title, you guys already know what I'm going to talk about. Um, but before I get started, I just felt like saying it's been a lot happening in this world. Um, you know, events that we've all seen, like tragic events and stuff like that. Um, and not even tragic, but crazy stuff. Um, I'm not really trying to go into no specifics, but all I'm going to say is just, just make sure you get right with God. You know, just have God in your life. Make sure you have a relationship with Him, cause it's it's a lot of crazy stuff happening. The whole police stuff and the 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 lady and all of that. Um, when it gets to politics and all that, it's just a lot that's been going on. Um, just daily, you know. So we live in a world where there's a lot of you know cruelty, a lot of violence and stuff. So just make sure you you know get right with God. Make sure you pray. Stay safe, and yeah, um, I, felt like, I just felt like I had to say that it's, it's crazy out here. But um, oh, before I also start, I might miss like two podcast episodes because uh, I soon go on vacation, God willing. Um, so I might miss like two, three episodes if I'm not mistaken. I might have a pre-recorded episode just to you know upload it before i leave or while i'm over there upload it just make it happen now no let's see no promises but I haven't had a a nice break in a couple of years so i feel like i'm gonna take a step back probably see if i brainstorm change a couple of things up come back you know with new ideas and then just attach it to the podcast or you know approach it differently so but not so i might still give a couple more episodes before that time but you know Whenever it's two weeks that I haven't uploaded three weeks, you know why. But let's get straight into this episode. So this episode is strictly uh, surrounded for the you know, Golden State Warriors or my Warriors fans. Uh, I'm a Warriors fan, Steph Curry fan. Um, and um, supposedly we're the, in the driver's seat for Laurie Marketing. I literally just seen the report. Um, and I'm super duper excited. It's, it's been something that's been super duper annoying. It's been going on for a month plus now. It's been going on for a, a, good, a good amount of time. A month plus or almost heading into a month's time. And, um, that, you know, it's been it's been either us or the, at first it was a couple of teams, three, at least three teams, four teams that was interested in Norway marketing from the Utah Jazz. And then I think the Kings ended up getting the Rose and that died down. Um, and I think it's just us and the Spurs now, but the Spurs ha- aren't really like haven't really been making much noise around them. So um, we've been. I think I feel like we're the team that has the best package for Utah, but also um, I feel like we're the only team that's di- given you know different trade proposals. And I talked about this a couple episodes back, probably like three, four episodes back, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm talking about it again because. It seems it seems like we're heading there. Um, the only the, another reason why I say that is because Utah waived two players, if I'm not mistaken. So I think something is being, you know, cooked. Something is being changed behind closed doors before they hit, you know, before the actual trade happens. If he's going to the Warriors or not, but I have a, a real gut feeling now that I think that he is. Um, I don't think that these reports will come out for no reason. Not saying that there's not a possibility that he may not get traded to another team, which will be like, damn, because then I'm getting hyped for no reason. Um, it's kind of been like a roller coaster ride of emotions with, with this whole trade. But it's just because I know that if we land the guy like Lori Marketing, it'll be spooky. Now, of course, definitely got to see who we give up and who we keep. That's also important. Um, hopefully, Ainge doesn't fleece us. Have, hopefully he doesn't take so much from us and then just leave us like you know give us lowry but like not leave us with key players who i think that we could keep or should keep and have alongside lowry stuff trey and everybody else who we keep but i feel like another big big reason on why 
is the reports are coming out that you know they're in the front driver's seat for Laurie is because um I think Steph Curry was asked I think today or yesterday um on uh his entire like playing his entire career with the Warriors and his specific words were I'll continue to make the decisions that are best for me and for my career at the end of the day I want to win if it's a situation where you're a bottom feeder and it's just because you want to stay there I've had a hard time with that but I don't think that's going to be the reality so he's basically letting them know like I do want to be a warrior for life um and I've been you know I've been at the bottom before but he doesn't think that it's going to stay like that so it's either because he's confident something's going to happen or he's just you know putting more pressure into the front office like hey like I want to play for this organization but you guys got to make something happen um and I felt like everybody knows that rivals know that Steph know that the fans know that I feel like the front office should know that um of course us as fans we we're not there live knowing what's going on knowing who's you know coming up with the ideas to to you know give the jazz hey we should get this guy whatever whatever the case may be um so our opinions are limited but at the same time they're not because we could say a bunch of things but we may be wrong we may be right like i said we're really not there you know making the decisions but um i know if we land laurie man the wars is gonna be special this year this upcoming season uh right now steph is having his fun in you know usa men's basketball team you know a little distraction but not really distraction because he's still you know playing the sport having fun but distraction of his you know team especially since clay left i already spoke about that um but yeah this off season still like it's been you know a bit quiet as of now um of course there's been comments from different players uh that's in the usa men's basketball team um and those who are, aren't participating um i seen jalen brown's top five of all time i think if i'm not mistaken steph curry was in there but like i needed to add that because i you know more and more players are starting to put stephanie top five and i feel like we're gonna see that in the upcoming future just because i mean they respect him respect his game how what he did for the game um and this is why i said this episode is really gonna revolve around the warriors because um i just feel like so much can happen like that if we get lori um and it'll be even more interested interesting if we get lori and still be aggressive as in you know for another two three role players which is what we, which is what we'll, we will need at that point because lori is definitely the the banger you know of 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 the off season or where all of our eyes are pointed to who we think will be you know need a move mover but um yeah i feel like if we get him and uh i think he has till august 6 um to i think sign an extension if i'm not mistaken um so we we might not see nothing till the 6th of august which is a couple couple days away probably like a week away or something like that probably a bit more than a week but i got by the time you guys see this is friday at the moment it's wednesday um but we got to still a couple of days see what what happens if anything um really happens and i just want to read some of the comments of people saying you know on twitter somebody said oh my god we're winning the championship somebody else said he's coming home um somebody said four first round picks and wiggins should be enough i feel like that'll be amazing i don't think that there's no way we keep jonathan kaminga in pods and Laurie, I just don't, you know, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Knowing that Kaminga's gonna want to get paid soon, so I don't know if we might. I feel like we came to the point of knowing that we're gonna lose either Pods or Kaminga. Um, I think Moody's for sure part part of the deal, but um, yeah, we just gonna have to see who we let go. Hopefully, we don't let go of both. But if we do let go of both, I would like to see the, you know, reasoning behind that which then again it shouldn't really be no reasoning because you know they're trying to go all in for a step number five ring somebody else said smart move um somebody said oh my god if this happens words are going to be fire uh angel about to fleece somebody said stop notifying me unless he actually gets traded part of me feels like that um 
then a lot of like memes and stuff that's like winning the poor man's lottery and getting a steak dinner finally with praying hands they better get stuff they better get him where stuff is out of there so it's just a lot of different comments but i feel like most of the people's on the same page knowing that you know a talent like glory uh, around stuff dre and like i said whoever we keep would definitely be tough um and lastly to you know end off the episode if we do get laurie i say we get 45 plus wins for a fact probably even 50. uh listen i said it if it'll be 50 plus that's even better but i say 45 to 50 wins 50 something yeah yeah to be fair because the west is super duper stacked um but i'll definitely come back to this if it does happen if we do get laurie and if we get 45 to 50 wins and i i'll say you know i was right <laughs> if we don't get laurie and then none of this really matters but the the driver's seat tweet really you know gave, gave me a feeling that it might just happen but that's really it for this episode make sure you subscribe you like you comment you share um, check the description down below where I have my link for my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And your boy Salcita is out.